Depression is a potentially serious mental condition that affects about 1 in 10 American adults. It can be so severe that it prevents a person from functioning. But the good news is it can be successfully treated. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us about emerging new treatments. Jerry Spencer has dealt with depression most of her life, but she says a few years ago it became almost debilitating. Jerry didn't want to use medication, so she enrolled in a clinical trial at Mass General Hospital in Boston that's testing a new and promising non-drug treatment called near-infrared light. The near-infrared light uh, uh, through the forehead uh, gets to the powerhouse uh, um, of the cell, which are the mitochondria, and leads to more energy in the brain area that are close to the source of light. Dr. Cassano says the light also decreases inflammation in the brain and increases connections between neurons, all of which seems to help a person feel better. It's still experimental, but Jerry believes the treatment works. Now I'm functioning, I'm working, I'm busy. Another novel approach to treating depression, also at Mass General, the use of small doses of the anesthetic drug ketamine. The drug can be administered as a nasal spray, which has been used to treat bipolar disorder in young people. A lot of people don't, uh, don't realize that it's a treatable condition and they can feel better in sometimes as quickly as a few weeks. Depression is one of the most common mental disorders in the U.S., and it's likely caused, at least in part, by a chemical imbalance in the brain. And as Dr. Cousin said, you don't have to suffer because, in most cases, depression is treatable. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. The infrared light used for depression has also shown some benefits for stroke patients, so it really seems to have an effect on the brain.